Hey, what's up? So you're here because this is a quick tip in regards to running as root and kind of the little bit of dangers of it. So yes, you can run Plex God as root. That's not a problem. What's going to happen is, is that when you're running as root, you're going to end up making changes that will ultimately mess things up. So just to give you a little bit of a quick demo, we're going to go to CD and then click here. We're going to go to CD op, or let's go to mount. And we'll notice here is that a lot of our folders, except temp, need the temp folder, are with, so in my case, this is the permissions 1000, 1000, right? So whatever your 1000, 1000 default is, this is what this will be. So if I'm in here and I'm like, hmm, let me go to CD mount move, and then I do make directory um, Bobcat, right? So what you'll have issues with this is that basically when you're like hey certain things are moving if we look at what we did which is pretty fairly simple we'll notice that bobcat has our permissions of root root so the thing is the scripts run as thousand thousand basically the default user so by doing custom things as a root user it's going to cause you a lot of problems so i just wanted to kind of demonstrate that to you so by all means run plex god as root just run it that's fine but do not make any modifications as root we highly encourage that you make another account and then you stick logging into that account. So this is just a quick tip from pgblitz.com. You have a good one.